And hello everybody, welcome back to another episode of, well, Minecraft. It's been a very long time since we've played this game, and currently you're going to see that I'm just chilling down here in a, uh, in a hole in the world. Well, what happens to deal with this hole in the world is we've been building the Iron Titan off camera. Now, I've been working on this for quite a long time. And I decided to hop into creative to build this thing because I needed a break from just the survival aspect of the game. Just for a bit. So, over here we had ourselves a whole mess of villagers. They were all over the place in here. Um, they were down here inside of this little doodadder. And I just got so sick and tired of listening to the villagers all the time that I decided to hop into creative and start to build the uh, Iron Titan this way. So this is what I've got going on so far. All right, I've built the Titan. We got the uh, pitfall down here for where the uh, guys are gonna drop at. Um, we got our first villager set right here, our second villager set. There's 28 entities inside each of those. And over in here, I believe there is I think I put eight in there. I'm not sure. <laughs> but uh, that's our uh, first set. I want to stack this. I'm not sure. But um, let's take you guys into and show you what I've been up to. All right. So here's the um, Titan itself. You can see it coming down. I got this far in the tutorial tutorial before uh, I heard, before I heard um, what's his name? Um, Tango say that we should uh, start to build our storage okay so how this storage works is I believe let's see here yeah we got the storage coming out over here whoa and we just fell all right <laughs> all right so the storage for the iron will come out of the Titan over here all right now it's gonna travel into each of these chests so I got each and every single one of these hoppers they're all angled in this direction so if you just want to put like a arrow pretty much they're all arrowed in this direction so they're all pointing in that direction and then the rest of them they're all just pointing straight down so yeah so you just take your arrow and bang bang yeah they're all just kinda of pointing down so that's pretty much what I got going on for the Titan over there. Um, I've quarried out two big holes all the way down to bedrock. I did all of this in survival. <laughs> and the entire purpose for us digging out the spawn chunks is to not only increase spawn limits for the uh, Iron Titan, but when all the spawn chunks are dug out, completely we're gonna put a mob farm in here all right and the mob farm it's gonna be pretty much where we're gonna well it's gonna have mob drops it's gonna stand up high in the air pretty much like this maybe a bit higher and we're going to I mean I'm thinking I'll put we got the Titan right there over here is where we'll put the mob farm I'm still carrying out moving a lot of sand and dirt and I'm thinking this other quarry spot that's over here well not this one I'm gonna dig out another quarry you see these two right here each and every single one of these squares represents a quarry hole okay so you figure all of this is gonna be quarried down to bedrock call me crazy but this is your spawn chunks and there's where it ends and it comes out and it stops right there. Um, maybe not. Um, I was told it goes out 16 chunks. I had to remap it. And this would be the missing two chunks that I didn't do on this end. And then we'll have up here on this end. This is, I believe, six chunks. So if we go over there and take a look. And you count one, two, three, four, five six seven that right there is the center of it by the way eight nine ten eleven twelve thirteen fourteen 
Um, right now, it's currently a 14 by 14, and that's what I think we'll probably leave it at. Um, I did end up with a villager that was selling books. He had a, a really nice one, and somehow he got out. And I cased him in, but whenever I started building the Titan, he uh, did his thing. So let's go ahead and show you guys what I got um, going on down here. All right, so let's hop over here. Um, I forget which chest it is. I just dumped all my junk in. Um, you can see I still got my uh, pickaxe. Um, our fishing thing, I have to rebuild completely. That's a project for another day. Um, we're in a snapshot, so you can see we got the beautiful concrete. I really love this stuff. I actually made all of these things, and we're just about out of gravel, if you believe it or not. Let's see here. I'll show you. So if we come over here, um, let's see your basic box right here. This is all the gravel we got left. <laughs> um, back at base, we do have some stuff, but... You can see we got our silk shovel. I stuffed that inside of there. Um, I'm looking for my stuff that I just shoved inside one of these chests. Perhaps it's over here. Let's see. Check that one. Nope. Over here, you'll see this is where I got loads of glass. A double chest of each of it. And that's for other projects. So, yeah, we had so much sand, I just started smelting it. Didn't have really much we can do with it, so... At the time. So, we got ourselves a little bit of an automated smelter going on over here. Give me one quick second. Um, music and sounds. Shut up. Alright, so yeah, that's the stuff of things that we got going on over there. We haven't really done too much. Um, I want to show you guys how I have this wired up, just in case you know if I'm doing it wrong. So, here's how we got it. Let's drop down. Alright, so you see we have this right here, right? Um, okay. Okay. And this right here would be our uh, hopper system. As I said, I got it chained around each and every single one of these feeding into each other. So if we drop this, you see it's facing this way. And I just pop it into this one. And this one right here just faces into this. So if you ever want to uh, do yourself a mass storage system, you could do one. And it just goes the whole way around pretty much like that. Let's go ahead and get us into some, some daylight. What do you say to that? Um, since we're in creative, let's go ahead and do this. Um, I guess that don't work anymore. Um, there we go. And that'll give us some daylight. So you guys can see what I got going on here. So, yeah. That's our thing we got going on right here. All of these things, they come the whole way around. They feed into these hoppers. So, this is pretty much what we got going on. If I take this, and I just show you. Okay. Um, they're all feeding in just like this. Alright. Now, each below, each and every single one of these things. Say this is your chest right here. All of these things, they all face into this, into them like this, and they all travel the whole way down. Now, the only reason I'm going to be recording this today is because I want you guys to, uh, <laughs> I had a little bit of a problem. Uh, my, uh, we have a ton of these things, and I just got a little sick and tired of doing this in survival, so, I'm, I mean, I used all of my iron, pretty much. And we have to uh, take our, 
take all these. Now, what I was doing is I was coming down here and I was just doing two like this, drop back, hit two, hold shift, and go two again. But that's not how we're. I just found out that you can hold shift and space. So we can just come right across this and just put these all in. Uh, I'm not going to bore you guys with this part right here. I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to pause the video. And I'll be right back with you guys when I have all these things wired up. Um, yeah. <laughs> One second. And there you go. Second for you. <laughs> Good enough for me. Alright. So yeah. Here's our little staircase. It'll take us down. So we can actually just, I'm just going to hop right down here because we're in creative. Um, now I could go ahead and we could seal this stuff up. So everything here, it's uh, all done. It's all complete. All our hoppers are uh, in line. Now one last thing. If, uh, if you ever uh, needed to check and see if everything is hooked up properly... You just come right along the edge right here and just look straight back. If any of the hoppers don't look like, look like they're facing down, then you're going to have to break the whole way back over there. And, uh, yeah, you'll have to break the whole way back here. Give me this. So what we got right here is the Iron Titan. It's fully, uh fully ready just to uh, fill it up with nothing but iron <laughs> I do hope we got the hoppers in here correctly like I said they go in a U they travel in a U turn on the top and then the rest of them all face into the chest so I'm guessing that should work <laughs> I mean given the math of the way these things work now the only thing I got left to do is we have to uh Get this part up and going. Okay. Now this right here is the contraption used to uh, send the um, flowers over to the nether. So it's a little bit of a tight quarters right here. But the redstones here, everything looks like it's just about okay. Um, there's only one thing I actually want to do that I don't want to cheat on. Is I actually just want to do something like that to uh, uncover these so you guys can see what it is, alright? So you can see over here is the iron. Our iron will feed out and head over that way into the chests. Um, over here, over here is where the roses will uh, come out. And what the roses will do, they'll uh, feed into this thing right here. Uh, there should be a uh, hopper chain in here. Let me see here. Where is this thing? Right here. All right. Now, this thing right here, it holds 50. So, you can see it counting. Still has a few in here. It has 50 just for the counter. Um, this is a redstone. Got some, some comparators, some redstone. We have all the materials for that. It was just the... Um, it was just these things right here. And building this thing with the iron blocks seems a lot better than just about anything else. Because, to be honest, if you were to build the thing out of cobblestone or stone bricks or something like that, it just isn't going to work out right. Um, I'm going to uh, end the video here. And I'm going to uh, finish building this Titan now that I finally got that thing out of the way. And I'll catch up with you guys in another episode. And I'm very glad that we could actually do an episode of this. Talk to you later. Bye.